everyone, welcome back to Nepal. Uh, back into the team, a winning start. How's the feeling? Uh, Alhamdulillah, of course, it's a great feeling. We're coming, uh, playing in Nepal. Nepal have a very good side. Of course, when they play in Nepal, they are better than when they're playing outside the Nepal. So, of course, we did well in the batting, starting. Of course, it's not easy to bat in starting. Ball get a little bit slow and all. So, but we, the guys played really well in starting. So, Nepal is under new captaincy, Rohit Kumar Powell now. You played against uh, generations of Nepalese players and teams. How do you rate this team at the current state? See, honestly, they are very young. Uh, Rohit is very young. Of course, he will take time. He have to understand a lot of things. First of all, you know, it will be pressure on him as well because he's captain. He have to take responsibility of a lot of things. So when you come in this uh, thing, it, uh, there is pressure on you and, and, you know, he was doing well in batting as well. So, of course, it will take time, but honestly, they have very good batting side. Um, but they have to trust their self and I think they will improve with time. You had a fighting innings today at the middle. So do you think playing against Nepalis bowlers helped you today to build that innings? Uh, of course, uh, honestly, they've been missing Sandeep. They, he was one of the main bowlers in middle where he was taking wickets. So when you miss that kind of bowler, of course, pressure on the other bowlers. And uh, so I th I, again, I will say you, uh, the bowlers or whoever it is, they have to trust their self. They have to, you know, find the way how to take wickets in the middle. Because if you f don't take uh, wickets in the middle, match goes late. So it will be not easy to th for them to win the match. You are not in the World Cup squad recently, and uh, we saw your frustration on social media also. So, how is the feeling coming back and scoring century and uh, absence, ball, uh, absence and bowling important still? Uh, yeah, of course. I was. Uh, I did well in practice matches when before coming to Nepal, uh, and of course, missing World Cup is uh, everyone. You know, everyone, every player want to play the World Cup. It is big opportunity, big award. You know, lifetime achievement. But yeah, of course, I miss it. It will remain in my heart forever, uh, but uh, still, you know, when it comes, you can't do in such things. And uh, when you play for country, you have to show them that I, I can do better than that. So when I was selected for Nepal and I was like, to be honestly, I was a little bit under pressure because I have everyone eyes on me. Everyone want me to perform and I received a lot of messages uh, thanks to them. And, you know, I did well. I, I tried to stay on the wicket and uh, that's what I did. So the way the match went today, do you think Nepal can challenge the series or maybe they can overturn the series in coming matches? Yes, of course. Uh, honestly, uh, uh, as I, I believe, uh, Dipendra is a little bit out of touch. Uh, you know, how he played today, I never saw him playing like that. He's one of the players who rotate the strike, who score regularly. And uh, Rohit is the main batsman. He can do better than that. And uh, I think they have a good quality and they can do better than this, uh, what they did today. Again, you also didn't convert your absence to big bigger score and other batsmen to uh, lose their uh, wickets. So any concern about that? Yeah, that, uh, that's what I was talking to analysts. You know, he told me there was we, we did one mistake. I said, what was that mistake? He said, we didn't convert our scores to 100. And I think, of course, uh, uh, we uh, we were discussing in the meeting, last meeting, that we scored 100 in June. So I think the players need to convert these things to 100 as you know if you want to improve your batting middle order was the main important thing in 50 over. I think especially Vaseem how he started he should have converted then Viridhyan and of course me. I think uh, when you are in that such composition you have to take the match till 42, 43 over after that you can do whatever you want. So I think we will try our level best to convert these 50s to 100s inshallah. So in the year 2019 when Nepal played ODI series in back to back UAE, Nepal beat UAE 2-1 in that series, even in T20 I also. So uh, what are the differences now uh, you saw in Nepali team? I think um, of course uh, Paras is not there and Para was the main player and uh, I've been playing a lot of time. At I never saw a batsman like him, I never saw a player like him because he was having confidence in him and that's what they should bring, the other guy should bring the youngsters. He was a very confident guy. He, when, when I played with him, I, even I played with him in the uh, poker league, how he managed the team is very different. How he, you know, give confidence to youngsters is very different. So that's what matter. I believe the captain is like, should be like that and uh, whenever he used to come to bed, you know, the other guys was confidence when he was on the crease, like, you know, we can do, we can win. 
so that's why what they what he did in WCL and they took ODI status and I, I think they Rohit can be a Paris uh, in the future and uh, that's the different only. Uh, you mentioned about Paris and another player which is uh, Sandeep Lamisane was not there. So uh, how is the Nepali bowling lineup without Sandeep? As I said before, Sandeep was of course he was one of the best bowler and uh, best bowler not in associated in the world. I think they will miss him. Of course, he was the one. I was talking to him at the, after the match. I said they miss him in the middle because he was the one, and, and they miss him in the end as well because he used to bowl three to four overs in the end. And uh, of course, it's not easy to find player like him. And uh,